The abortion pill, Mifepristone, is staying on the market. A unanimous decision, the Supreme Court rejected a lawsuit from several anti-abortion groups and doctors to undo the FDA's approval of the drug. The ruling allows the pill to continue to be mailed to patients without an in-person doctor's visit. The CDC is issuing a health advisory warning over access to ADHD medication, saying there could be disruptions after the arrest of two executives of a telehealth company claiming they generated more than $100 million in revenue by arranging for the prescriptions of more than 40 million pills, targeting drug seekers and instructing prescribers to prescribe stimulants to patients even if they didn't qualify. In South Florida, the National Weather Service is again sounding the alarm as life-threatening flooding is possible today. A tropical disturbance is prompting a rare flash flood emergency to much of the region. More than 20 inches of rain has fallen in some areas of South Florida since Tuesday, with more predicted over the next few days. The head of the FAA says the agency is partly responsible for the safety problems at Boeing because it had been too hands off in its oversight of the aircraft manufacturer. During his testimony before a Senate committee yesterday, Michael Whitaker cited the incident where a door plug blew off during an Alaska Airlines flight earlier this year and cited more inspectors on the ground at Boeing factories. A settlement over the swipe fees that Visa and MasterCard charge merchants is in trouble. The Wall Street Journal says the judge has indicated that the proposed changes in the deal seem inadequate. The initial lawsuit was filed nearly 20 years ago. LinkedIn has unveiled new artificial intelligence job hunting tools. Premium users can now use AI to tailor resumes, write cover letters, and find jobs with simple prompts. These features are rolling out worldwide to enhance your job hunting experience. WhatsApp is enhancing their video calls with screen sharing and group chats for up to 32 people. You can now share content, watch videos together, and chat with more friends. The new update also includes a speaker spotlight feature to highlight who's talking. Tesla shareholders have given their approval to a massive $56 billion pay package for CEO Elon Musk. The 2018 deal had been challenged in court and a judge blocked it. The vote does not override that, but could give Tesla's lawyers new leverage in challenging the ruling. Starbucks is the latest chain to offer discounts through a value menu offering. The coffee company rolled out what it calls a pairings menu. For $5, customers can get a tall, iced, or hot coffee or tea paired with a croissant. The price might change for customizations. And that's today's 9 at 9.